What's up guys, JDog back here from Seacoast. Today we're going to be going through how you can allow any version of Minecraft onto your Minecraft server. And this is going to be easily done with a few plugins. Some of the things that we're going to need here is obviously a Minecraft server. If you haven't got one, head on over to Seacoast.co. You can use the code 25OFF to get 25% off your first server. Next up, we're going to need two plugins that are going to help us do this. That's going to be via version and via backwards. This is going to allow versions before and after the current version of the server to be able to join. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using a 1.19.3 server, which is currently the latest for Java. But this will work the same way, no matter what version you're using. So first of all, let's go ahead and download the plugins. I will leave the link in the description. So if you do, just click that link, come to this page, and then click the little download on the top right. So I'm going to download via backwards. And this will allow all the versions previous to my version. So as you can see, all the from 1.19 to 1.8. Now there is a way for less than 1.8 to join using via rewind. We won't be using that today, however it works much in the same way, which is just gonna be downloading the plugin. Next up to via version, this will allow anybody joining in front of your version. So let's say for instance, you're running a 1.18 version because some of your plugins are only compatible with 1.18, you can have 1.19 clients join. This is also extremely helpful if you're using Geyser and Floodgate for a cross-platform server, because you can still be running on an older version. However, updating your Geyser will mean that newer Bedrock players will be able to join still. So you might be using 1.19.3, whereas your Bedrock player might be on 1.19.6, which might be causing a problem when they're trying to join. This can easily be fixed with via version as they update it very regularly, which means that the newer Bedrock client will be able to join the older Java server. So let's go ahead and click download for this as well. Well, both the plugins ready, we are ready to upload them to the server. So for this, first of all, go ahead and stop your server. There's a number of ways of uploading these plugins. That's first of all, by going to files and then going to FTP file access and uploading through there. However, some of the plugins are a little bit large and they might not go through the FTP file access upload limit. For this, we're gonna be using FileZilla. If you don't know how to use FileZilla, we've got a really easy tutorial on how to connect. This is basically a way for you to connect to your server using this free program called FileZilla and then upload and download files no matter what the size limit. So if you're not sure how to do this part, I'll have the video popping up now. Make sure to watch that video, return back, and then we'll show you how to upload the plugins. Essentially, you're gonna be connecting your server up by using the host, the username, the password, and the port that's provided within your FTP file access. And you can access that by going to files and FTP file access, your information will be there. The password will be your multicraft password. Once logged in, you're gonna see all of your server files on the right. And bear in mind that you will need to use a spigot, a paper, or a bucket version for this to work, because otherwise you won't get your plugin folder. I suggest using paper because it will allow both bucket and spigot versions to run on here. So for this, we're gonna double click on the plugins, and this is your plugins folder of which we're gonna upload it to. Now on the left hand side, you're gonna see the PC side of your things. Another thing I would suggest is also moving these files somewhere easier to find. That's because your downloads folder might have many hundreds of downloads and it's done alphabetically, so you might be looking for a while. So I'm just gonna paste them on my desktop. Now if I click on desktop up here, you're gonna see that I can find the file within this folder. So I'm gonna highlight via backwards and I'm gonna highlight via version, and I'm gonna drag them into my plugins folder. If you were using the FTP file access, you would simply just upload them again to the plugins folder. Of there we go, we've got our message, so we're all done. Now, simple as that, it's just time to start up your server with the plugins installed. Now, if we go over to the console, you're gonna see the mapping will start. Ignore the lasers, that's a whole different other thing, but we can see the via version has now started, enabling via version and enabling via backwards. The mappings have been complete for all the previous versions and forward versions as well and your server started up and you're done as quick as that. I mean, seriously, that quickly. You upload the files and it's done, no configuration needed. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.